my name is Dawson Rogers, project manager here at the Roebling Bridge, working for LRT Restoration Technologies. Well, beginning at the south face of Anchorage 1, we've got some masonry repairs to finish up. The beam seat on the east side is finished, so our shoring tower has been taken down. Um, that will likely stay for now um, as we assess some other areas of Anchorage 1. Um, but moving towards the south face of Anchorage 2 here on the Cincinnati side, um, we've got most of our Dutchman set, um, most of our tuck pointing completed. Um, really the whole face is pretty buttoned up except for um, some of the outstanding stone repairs and masonry patches. Um, moving inside the barrel, um, we have all of our Dutchman set in the south barrel all of our Dutchman set on the uh, south uh, interior elevation, and all of our Dutchman set on the uh, north barrel uh, as well. So the, the entirety of the north barrel has all the Dutchman set. We're finishing up some patchwork. The big thing holding us up there is uh, we found some additional deterioration at the uh, north side of the north barrel, uh, where we're gonna be putting in um, a steel cage and pouring a concrete archway uh, in order to strengthen that up so we can get the roadway reopened. Uh, so today they're kind of putting the finishing touches on a lot of their stonework. Um, the reason that this repair at the north end of the north barrel is still hanging out is because that's where the girder beams bear. Um, and we wanted to make sure that that was strong enough to, to bear not only the dead load, but the live load of the bridge uh, once the thing gets open. So that's why we're uh, you know putting some additional reinforcing in um, and pouring that back as a concrete archway. We complied to kind of all the historical uh, means of fixing this since it is a historical structure and uh, th there's a lot of certain things that you have to abide by so you don't further damage it when you go to repair it. You know, when we do our repairs, you basically chase the uh, deterioration as far as it goes. Sometimes it can be, you know, as thin as an inch. Sometimes it can be about 18 inches, which we saw at the end of the north barrel. We're waiting on uh, some questions and some uh, steel lead times for that north uh, archway. And then also we discovered uh, another area that's uh, way more deteriorated than we thought uh, outside of scope that we may continue holding the bridge up um, to repair that area, but we don't know at this time.